They say it's so flat here, you can watch your dog run away for three days. Possibly the last place you'd expect to find a couple of pro snowboarders. But you know what? We're prairie kids. And prairie kids can send it. My brother Mark is sitting on the peak of professional snowboarding right now, about to drop in. The best. I have a dream come true of a job. Mark and me get to travel around the whole world with our guys. Pretty much have as much fun as we can, and that's all we do. <laughs> We're not going to be young, healthy, extremely good looking for our whole lives, so you got to carpe YOLO. You know, carpe diem, but you only live once. Aspen, Colorado, riding at Buttermilk for the Red Bull Performance Camp. We've brought in all our top snow athletes, and basically we're just spending 11 days here working on jumps, working on half pipe, airbags, learning new tricks. Just sort of a good way to get everyone together and progress. There's a lot of progression involved with private setups, physio, great food, and it's all about learning and trying to be at the top of your game, especially on an Olympic year when everybody else is out there trying to learn new stuff. It gets kind of scary, and you want to make sure you're still at the top because you know other people are out there in the world learning, you know. The jump line here is really good for Mark because the tricks that he's working on is in most cases variations of doubles and triple corks. So with a big jump like this, it's nice and safe. Mark knows how to hit these big jumps. It's a good time, but it's a time where you need to push yourself and learn new things. I'm in beautiful Whistler, British Columbia. I just got in from Europe. I was in towns that I didn't even know the name of or could pronounce, and it's just nice to be back on home soil. You can sleep up here, big guy. Whistler is my home away from home, and this is the only place I'd want to be if I want to snowboard and rest at the same time. Just get into my yurt, lay down for a second, and I'm pretty sure I heard a semi coming through my door. Bear. It's the little jean jacket man, Sean Pettit, the Prince of Whistler. He's going 110%, 110% of the time, and he's an absolute treat to be around. You look good, love the oh, dinner. Dude, thanks. Yeah. So stoked Craig's back in Whistler. Could be happier to have him back here. What are you doing hanging out in this yurt? It's kind of strange. It's like, stay in my house. You know, you don't need to camp out in the woods in some hippie dome. Dude, let's, let's get out of this yurt and let's go do something fun, man. I really feel like Craig's energy's low, but I'm gonna turn that around for him. We had a damn good year. Let's act like it was a damn good year. It's leisure time, end of season. I love your attitude. We need to get the boys reunited. Is there Wi-Fi here? Ah, uh, it's dial-up, actually. It's pretty stuffy in there. Hey, 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 that's my house. So Mark's down in Aspen. We decided to get him on the horn. What's up, Johnny? What's up, Greg? Boots? Yeah, G. Dude, how are you? It's going really well, trying some new stuff. As soon as you're done at this camp, dude, I think you should get up here and come hang with the boys. All right, well, let me run it past Fergie, because you guys know I'm down. All right, we'll talk to you later, buddy. Hi, playboy. Adios, amigo. He's, He's got to let loose, you know. Olympics next year, man, let's do it up. He's in. Let's get celebrate. Let's go do something. Skate? Yeah. The triple torque is definitely my signature trick. It's been really successful for me, and I think it's definitely the trick that everybody's working to learn, and I'm just trying to learn new variations of it so I can be one step ahead of the game. The pressure of trying to push it and trying to learn tricks can add an element of danger just because you're feeling like you have to go out and try something even if you're not necessarily ready. Once somebody does a trick, everybody else goes out and learns it. I've been trying all this new stuff, and a lot of it's been working, but it's a very fine line of landing or getting hurt. Hitting jumps like we have here is pretty dangerous. There is a lot of risk, but it's something you need to focus on if you're going to try it, and it's definitely a big mind I don't know what to work on, like, unless I, like, try a frontside triple or something. Mark landed a few things and then decided he was going to go try a frontside triple on the bottom jump there. You know, fairly risky trick to try, but he's feeling pretty good, so, you know, he's confident. Ah! 
I kind of just saw Mark come over the knuckle and lose his momentum in the flip a little bit and come down on his head, which was pretty gnarly to see from my perspective. Your neck's okay? Yeah, I just like turned it on the side of my face. Take a big breath for me. Good. I had two and a half corks done. Then the landing showed up and said hello to my neck and face. I was like in the air, I was like, fuck. That jump is pretty much equivalent to running off a four-story building as fast as you could and landing on your head. It was just something that I really wanted to try, and I paid the price, but I, I got the first one out of the way. Pissed off about that trip. Definitely going to call it quits for this trip. I had a really good week, and I don't want to push it any more than I already have. Springtime in Whistler best time of the year for sure we should have a year-end celebration except we should do it on like snow me and sean Petter are standing over a stove right now cooking up one heater of a good time bring the boys mm -hmm. bring the ladies yep we need a bunch of party supplies and we'll just spend a night out there and we'll celebrate we're gonna party we're gonna shred get the end of season just wrapped up is it okay if I give you most of the planning? I got this. I got to cover it. I'll plan the whole party. I'm good with parties. I know you are. I'm pretty good at partying, I guess. Think of the last day of school in Greece, the movie. Yeah. How much fun they have. Oh, my God. Ladies. You guys are so hot. They should probably come to the party. <sighs> They're coming. Yeah.